moving well. Let me introduce you to the underground revolution. See, we bring it down and twerk. Won't ever be on your local radio station. And my music won't ever make a million. But once it hits the streets, it's for like HIV. And then you know we're not playing. So, no, your ears, you cannot cry no more. Yeah, there better be hard because no soft spots will survive. And the ground is still alive. The unstoppable, untouchable, hip hop will never uh, die. Uh, 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 uh. So basically, if you ain't ever rapped before, or you know, battle rap before, you come out here, sign up, twenty dollar entry fee, two fifty tracks, subscribe. I need me a dime that invented naughty Like on strip for a nigga Fuck paparazzi Straight PH Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Impact No Excuses We in a building, Group West Two Strive for Films Behind the camera, you know what I'm saying? Make some noise, Sacramento Soul Collective Auburn Hip Hop Congress What's going on? Yo, we got a special battle here Matter of fact, I'm gonna introduce Oh, that first, you know what I'm saying? Danny do is check him out. Go yeah. do it. Tell him what you gotta say, man. What's going on? Microphone? Alright, microphone or not. What's up, y'all? My name is Odaps. I represent the Auburn Hip Hop Congress. Yeah. Um, I want to give a shout out to take a stand slowly and the whole AU burn. Let's do this. Yeah. And then to my right, I got Teddy Graham. What's going on, man? Tell him how you feel. I don't want that, Mike. I know. Uh, okay, Teddy Graham. After my last battle, I don't really deserve a long intro, uh, so let's get into it. I will say my real name is Mason Harry. I'm going to use that in the bar, so pay attention. Hold on, hold on. Also, check us out on Facebook.com slash No Excuses Battles, Twitter.com slash No Excuses League. Now, before I stomp this cat, let me acknowledge my loss to Matt, because I know he's going to come with some obvious crap, like, you talked to his girl on that cocky act, and then you lost like you dropped the mat. Stop with that. Because your elementary style is almost as bad as your tracks. Because all this kid does when he raps is talk about how he expresses himself and keeps it real. But that's it. You never actually tell us what you do or how you feel. Him rapping is like driving a car with missing wheels. Because you, you put in all this gas and push and pedal with all your desire, but you're not going anywhere with it. You need to retire. Oh, but one thing I will respect about his spin is that he never brags about all the girls he's getting. Cause you ain't hit. And if you say different, you straight kid. You gay pimpin'. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, but your style is homosexual. Could you imagine him of all people talking about how his home is sexual? Cause it's homosexual? Nah, bro holds testicles. This homosexual. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not done here. Relax, 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 relax. Now, what I was gonna say after this was, is that, uh, <clears throat> There's no way you can say you got women because your face has the traits of autism. Time. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Seriously? Yeah. Go that was a minute 30? Go ahead, go ahead. Dude's name, I couldn't hold back the laughter. He's black but names himself after a sweet toddler snack cracker. Ass <laughs> backwards. <laughs> it may be crazy too because to name yourself baby food ain't a good look for a rapper. <laughs> so I'm gonna prove you just an actor. He's no battle rap factor. I'm not comparing you to disaster when I'm declaring you a disaster. He's got that slow flow. I wanna bulldoze with a tractor. And your rhymes don't connect, dog. Your rhymes need an adapter. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get some action, walking up to anything that has an ass and asking for digits on a filthy, already used napkin. Uh, I to find passion. But I guess they say beggars can't choose, so I've been trying to figure out what might have happened, and I think your dad was blind and accidentally banged a moose. I think you're just a dude. You should probably make a deuce to retreat before your face has the imprint on my shoe. I'll leave that ass abused. Have you begging for a truce? And have your bird making noises like I'm strangling a goose. <laughs> He's part of his nationality. <laughs> 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 
I'm gonna take him back to school, the Whack Rappers Academy. Yo, this little bitch couldn't beat me in his fantasies, and if it wasn't for this battle, then he'd probably be a fan of me. <laughs> Nice round, but if you still think you're gonna beat me, you straight tripping. Cause I ain't coming with no lame shit like my game spitting, leave your dame dripping. I'm insane, pimping. Fuck with me, your brain's missing. When my blade splits him, OJ Simpson and facelift him. Mm. Leave him traumatized with the same symptoms as rape victims. Mm. I'm way gifted. Our skill level, a great difference. The same distance we take chimps in space missions. So to beat me, you're gonna need a lot more than that weak shit that you straight spitting. You need eight minutes of great rinse. You better take children from May Village and train vicious to rape pillage and take pictures of eight victims with legs missing. Oh. Then make him repeat the cycle to keep him psycho and teach him rifles and street survival. But even with those elite disciples, you'll still need the Bible to be survival and a free revival to beat your rival. Cause I'll come psychopathic and hyperactive and leave your vital static. These are your final actions before you split to microfractions. And the crowd will look at a surprise reaction at my vital tactics when I put hands on this kid. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Slaughter your whole Krongus after I kill you with bare hands. I mean, massacre. Hook city dead, dude left, shots on his crew, and girls and boys drop. Tools shown class. But if you ain't feel that for it, let me run it back and I'll paint that horror picture for sure. Class shown tools, drop boys and girls and crew, his own shots left dude dead. Sandy Hook massacre. Ooh. Ooh. Too soon? Yeah. Too soon? Ain't too soon, bro. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Alright, so now I know you definitely can't hang with this. That last verse had me going, ah, look, I was Jada Kiss. See, but I'm sitting here for your name is laughable. You couldn't reach my level if God gave you a catapult. To me, it's natural. But you should listen. When people tell you to quit, they're speaking some straight wisdom. <laughs> Cause when I sit back, I notice something's missing. You've got less bars than a state in prohibition. Yo, your whole career is fiction. And I hope you're joking, bro, cause blazing an ounce of weed's the only way you're ever smoking, no. <laughs> and if he did, this kid would probably overdose. Think he's all heavy shit and slipping to a comatose. I'm too potent, bro. You can't handle me. See, coming here is a fat chance. I guess you suck at gambling. <laughs> I'll show you like a strip dance. Whoop that ass gladly, then check my Facebook to see that all your fans added me. <laughs> all three of them. <laughs> Yo. But anyways, there's something on my mind I've been trying to say. Those caterpillar eyebrows seem way out of place. Every time they move, every time they move, I'm wishing they would crawl off your face. <laughs> Yo, real talk. That face can make a camera lens rot. So the only time he gets a headshot is playing Xbox at his friend's spot. <laughs> you look right here, you really must have been lost unless you volunteer to get knocked back like 10 spots. <laughs> Yo, I heard he's a psych major. So I thought you'd be smart, but that shit was a psych major. <laughs> he's more like the nerdy type to dress like the White Ranger and stay up late at night to practice like a lightsaber. <laughs> Bro, your lines are not killer. Do you know how many rappers have done this stupid eyebrow shit about caterpillars? Come on, bro. You look like Mac Miller if he stole his fucking swag from a crack dealer. <laughs> now see, I'm a lyrical beast. I'm an animal cracker. Finish my prey with bare hands. Animal cracker. So it's only right that I put him in a box in a bag and let all you kids eat him up after. Animal crackers. Because when these judges go off to make that decision, you'll see I earn the you'll see that I earn the victory. It belongs to me and I'll take it by any means. But if you slow it down, I just threatened you. I said when those judges go off to make that decision, you'll see that iron. The victory, it belongs to me and I'll take it by any means. 
Mm. But let's talk on some real shit for a second. Put the fucking hip hop on rest. Do you think in actuality I pull out the tool and put it to your chest? Hell no. No? You don't think I pull out the ratchet in front of everybody here to make my point clear? Do it. Oh. Water gun. <laughs> there you go. Dude's got, dude, dude's got balls. But you're right. I don't need to put a gun to your brat. Don't. Uh, but you're right. Keep it down. Keep it down. Oh. Let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me, but boom me after. All right, now that said, you're right. I don't need to put the gun to your breast. I train with the best. So I don't need a gap to leave you grounded like a bad grade on your test. Now before they call time on me, I got a question for you. Why do you call yourself ODAC? I mean, that's a real fucking uh, mystery to me. Is it because you're apt to get an O face after you're shown the D? <laughs> now, if anybody thought that was gay, if anybody thought that was gay, you took it the wrong way. I was talking about putting a gun to my challenger, because see, it depends on the caliber. If it's that 357, you're apt to get an O face after you're shown the D. Ooh. But if it's that 50, you're apt to get a no face after you're shown the D. No one caught those metaphors, all they caught were mad Z's. See, your problems are hard to catch like taxis on back streets and that whack cheap flow could use a whole load of caffeine. <laughs> so someone get this fat geek a double mocha stat, please. Max energy, you think he's smoking mad trees, but he doesn't smoke. He stays far from trouble. He never blows trees, all he blows is cum bubbles. <laughs> This nerd spends more time handling snakes than Steve Irwin. Oh! Hey, it looks like you and Steve can even be some birth twins, but you came out the unsuccessful gay perverted version. It's kind of time. It's probably time to close the curtains. It's kind of funny. He tries to act smart, but he looks like a dummy because you ain't rough and there's no use bluffing when your whole aura's like rainbows and pink bunnies, <laughs> Legos and snuggies, Play-Doh and sunseeds, a grown man playing games with shit stains in his undies. <laughs> Me. I'm too hot and this bitch forgot to bring his sunscreen. <laughs> what you gonna do, you trying to flow me? You're off the whack meter. That monotone flow reminds me of my old math teacher. And he couldn't really rap either. So why ain't mad at you? So why ain't mad at you? You should quit rapping and teach algebra. You ain't shit when it comes to this rapping. But he's a beast when he's multiplying fractions. <laughs> but no way can he help you sample vinyl. But he can sure as hell grade and handle stacks of finals. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. You lack the livery. Whack rapper repent me. I'll blow that ass to smithereens and leave you in the history because you're the biggest bitch since the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Really just out our bar, you know, all the way to the end. By the third round, 
Teddy Graham kind of like, you know, he had like this metaphor. He's known for bringing props and like, you know, getting the crowd involved and shit. But this time it just didn't work for him. And man, oh that, bro. Oh that pop, man. It was a good battle for me. I loved it. So, shout out to both competitors. Oh that. It's abstract ninja and the suspects, but uh, Teddy Graham, you feel me, the first round, he fell off. Man's got him. What's the second dude name? Get me on camera saying that. Odap. Yo, Odap killed him in the first round. Feel me? Teddy Graham came back in the second round. Started spitting that. You feel me? Odap kind of got him in the punchlines, but I feel like Teddy Graham took the second round. Wait, look. Third. Odap bought that. That's all I gotta say. There's no excuses, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's Task One. I'm the only nigga that ain't in like hella crews. I read my goddamn so It's a beautiful thing. Um, uh, shouts out to No Excuses. Shouts out to them for coming out, first of all. Shouts out to both contenders, Teddy Grams, ODAP. Uh, first round, you know, Teddy Grams started off. He fell off. He didn't look like he forgot his rhymes or he should have just finished it out, you know. You always got to finish strong when you do this shit, you know what I'm saying? ODAP. You know, came through in the first round, did his thing out of punch lines. Second round, I gotta get a Teddy Graham. So I almost kinda wish that he saved that second verse for the last. And that was like his best shit. Like, you gotta be strong with shit like that. I was kinda disappointed. I'm like, wow, like, okay, this is your second round. The third round's gonna beat this, right? But to me, his third round was like, okay, you didn't beat the first round. And Odap had straight up punch lines straight throughout. Shout out to both contenders. They both did a great job. But like when they said, no, it's Excuses. Shout out Odap. Here we go. Yo, Alien Logic, Logical Alien Productions, Proto Language. I got Odap on, on number one. Got Teddy Grounds on number two. I wasn't feeling the gun stuff at the end. I got Odap on number three. Odap! Odap!